the fear fear is real. Uh, it's a real thing for entrepreneurs. If you're not afraid when you're when you're doing an entrepreneurial venture, you're probably doing something wrong. Our organization, Hivewire, it's a bit different uh, than some of the other crowdfunding organizations because we're pursuing a partnership strategy. We're looking forward to connecting with organizations that already have an existing crowd and we're going to support them in unlocking value from that crowd or from that network. The world is becoming more and more complex, more and more networked. Uh, we can help organizations understand that complexity, gain insight from it, and then monetize it. And hopefully, doing that all in a socially responsible way. When people are tailoring their pitch for a potential funder, they have to recognize first and foremost that they are, number one, their people, and they're trying to connect with other people. So having a, a level of honesty and authenticity is particularly important when doing any kind of pitch uh, because you're building a relationship with an individual funder or you're building a relationship uh, with an organization or you're building a relationship with the larger crowd. And that's where with crowdfunding um, gives um, an entrepreneur that opportunity to say uh, this is who I am um, and this is what I'm all about. And if they do so in an authentic way, then the crowd uh, will connect with them, uh, will em uh, emote in some way, have some kind of emotional connection, um, and then be able to, uh, to support them. So I think having that authenticity is critically important. I think the biggest warning I would give for any new startup is um, don't be afraid. I think that far too often startups um, have a lot of fear. Um, when we're beginning uh, a new venture, um, many startups think, hey, this is what I want to do, but I haven't done anything yet. Can I really do this? You know, can I really make a difference? Who's going to listen to me? Will someone really give me money for my idea? Um, can I actually gain a client doing this? Uh, can I overcome the barriers that there are? But the, the truth is, um, the most successful entrepreneurs have been the ones who just put that fear out the window and say, uh, you know what, I think this is real and good, and, and put themselves out there in order to try to achieve that, that dream. So um, I would say that the fear, fear is real. Uh, it's a real thing for entrepreneurs. If you're not afraid when you're, when you're doing an entrepreneurial venture, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, so I would say, um, you know, be careful of that fear and, and recognize that while it's, it's natural, uh, I would warn you against listening uh, too much to it. I think, uh, I, I absolutely think um, there are parallels with skydiving and with, um, and with entrepreneurship. Um, my doing skydiving has allowed me to build up a tolerance for risk and a healthy respect for risk and understanding of risk um, such that uh, I have a comfort level or a tolerance to be able to take decisions that are risky, uh, but do so to do so in a, um, in a way that is uh, well thought out and calculated and also um, taking the steps to try to minimize that risk as much as possible. What a lot of people don't realize with skydiving is people say, oh, you know, you're skydivers, you have a death wish. But, but actually, no, skydivers have a life risk and, and, and go through a great deal of training and take very careful preparation to make sure that I'm safe on a skydive and if we're on a skydive that you're safe as well. Um, so it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a real lesson in careful preparation.